This lesson covers Active Directory Rights Management Services, but more specifically, it's going to talk about the needs and the ways to actually protect data, of which ADRMS is just one. Now, this document really covers the three primary ways we think about digitally protecting our data. And so RMS gives you that ability to protect documents of certain types. So, for example, office documents. And that protection applies to that document no matter where it is, on your local machine, on someone else's machine, on a file share. That protection travels with the document. It also protects the document while it's in transit, so while it's traveling over the network, while it's being sent in an email. That document is always protected. It's always encrypted. And there's a big difference between RMS and these other methods I'm going to talk about at the end. You can protect the content during collaboration, for example, integrating with SharePoint, multiple users accessing the data. Now, then you have encrypted file system. So encrypted file system is when we protect data on a particular volume. So this allows for multiple users to protect and access a file and folder on some kind of shared machine. It enables protection on remote file and folders. And it gives you protection from untrusted network administrators. They wouldn't be able to access that data. Although, EFS, you can configure a sort of recovery agent. This is going to give you protection from even sort of bad admin type scenarios. But it's only protecting the data in place. That data, when it's copied to another media, when it's sent in an email, is no longer encrypted. So if I try to draw a difference between encrypted file system and RMS, I kind of think about protecting your child. So EFS is like having your child at home and you have an armed guard at the door. You have all the windows bolted. So while your child is at home, it's totally safe. No one can get in that house. That security guard is protecting the front door and there's back door protection, etc. Everything's protected. But if your child leaves the house, then there's no protection. So EFS is only protecting the data when it's in that location. RMS is like handcuffing a police officer to your child. No matter where that child goes, that protection follows. So with RMS, the data, doesn't matter where that data is, once it's been protected with RMS, it's always protected. And RMS also doesn't just encrypt the data, it controls how it can be used. So it's rights management. It can say, well, these users can access this data, but they can't cut and paste from it. They can't print it. They can only view it. And that's the big difference here. Often we think about encryption, but well, if someone has permission to that data, they can print it a thousand times, they can forward it on to someone else. You really don't have any control over it. So what Rights Management Services does, it not only allows you to control who can access the data, but it controls what they can do with that data, what rights they have for that data. But to leverage RMS, the application has to support RMS. For example, RMS works with Office, with SharePoint. Those applications like the Word, the Excel, the PowerPoint can understand RMS and adhere to those rights. You can't protect any type of data with RMS. The application that leverages the data has to enforce those rights. Whereas encrypted file system is just encrypting the data. It works with any type of data. Then we have BitLocker. So BitLocker is a volume level encryption. This just protects everything on a particular volume. And that's going to be as soon as the machine is turned on, you have that BitLocker key, a pin, a USB drive, and then you can access all the data on that machine. But if you lose that machine, if it's stolen, no one can get access to that data. So that's a volume level encryption. And so with RMS, what I can do, if I just actually jump over to my Word application, let's say this is a test document. This is a test. With RMS, I can go into here and protect documents. This is leveraging my RMS I already have deployed. And I've defined two custom policies. For example, I can say there's no print copy or there's minimal rights. So now I've applied that policy. And you see that now, the RMS template is blocking printing or copying from the document. So I can view the permissions. And I can see that I'm okay because I'm the owner. So I still have full permissions, but other people would have those limited rights to this data and would not be able to cut and paste. They won't be able to print this document. And this is really important. If we look at today's digital world, everything is connected. There's data traveling all over the place, highly sensitive data. So we need to protect that data. And rights management services is really the top of the food chain in terms of protecting the data, protecting it in transmit, also controlling how that data can be used. 
And this is what we're going to dive into in the next lessons. This concludes the lesson on ways to protect our data.